Hi there, Aries, and welcome back to Star Lord is Tarot. This is your tarot forecast for the week of November the 15th through to the 21st. I went ahead, shuffle the cards, laid them all out. Let's see what's going on for Aries. First up, we have Major Arcana of the Sun in the upright, followed then by Major Arcana of the Hermit. Upright. Next, we have the Nine of Cups in the upright, followed then by the Queen of Cups upright. And lastly, we have the Nine of Wands in the reverse position. <coughs> so for your overall energy, Aries, you have the beautiful sun in the upright position. Well, this could indicate uh, a couple of things. For some of you, this could indicate success and attainment uh, towards a goal, perhaps, that you've been working at for quite some time. You could be seeing some success with that situation. Uh, others of you, this is about vitality. This could be where your vitality returns, especially if you've been feeling sort of down in the dumps or sort of um, you know, maybe bummed out, just not feeling yourself lately. It could be that this week it's either something happens or maybe just your own physical body just, you know, starts feeling better. It can be representative of someone who's sort of getting over um, an illness. Maybe if you've been feeling, you know, under the weather or you've been recuperating somewhat, this could be, you know, that return to vitality. Beautiful energy to have. Great card to show up in your reading, especially as an overall energy. Nice. It's also associated with the sign of Leo. Some of you could have a connection to a Leo. You could also have a connection to a Virgo. Here we have the uh, Hermit card in the upright position. This is right at the beginning of the week. It could be that some of you perhaps are delving into something. It could be that some of you need to take a, a study for something, could be taking a course perhaps for your job or a situation like that, could be just taking a course on your own. Maybe you want to learn a new trade perhaps to uh, be able to apply for something different. Others of you, this could be just taking some time to go within and um, do a little bit of self-analysis or figure things out. Others of you are just sort of wanting to go um, within to maybe do some time on the internet researching something. Um, comes up an awful lot for students or for people who are prepping for something. Prepping for an exam can indicate, you know, spending time on your own to study. So just take what applies. <coughs> Excuse me. And it's paired together here with the beautiful nine of cups in the upright position. Well, if you've been looking for something, searching for something on the internet or maybe completing a course, it could be that that was your wish to do. So <coughs> the nine of cups can oftentimes refer to a small wish or even a larger wish manifesting something that we've been wanting to happen for quite some time. Maybe for some of you, you've been searching or you've been, um, you know, uh, looking for something or you've been studying for a long time and you just really, really wanted that to come to an end. And maybe it has now for others of you. Like I said, it could just be uh, maybe if this is pertaining to success and attainment for some of you, maybe that was the wish manifestation. Moving on towards the weekend, we see the Queen of Cups here in the upright position. It is a court card, could be representing a person. If it's representing a person, this is water energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Sun, Moon, or Rising, male or female. Now, this could be someone in your life. This could be a love interest. This could be your best friend, family member, friend, neighbor, co-worker, boss, what have you. Um, this could be someone, in other words, external to you. This could also represent perhaps speaking with somebody on about emotional issues. Now, this could be consulting perhaps a, a therapist. Um, it could be talking to a counselor. It could be talking to a doctor, what have you. It's just, or even a good friend that basically helps you to process your emotion. That's what the Queen of Cups do, does. But this could be somebody, especially if this is a parent or someone that, close to you, this could be somebody advising you or guiding you on emotional matters. Now, the last card you have is the Nine of wands in the reverse position. This is the wounded warrior in the upright position. This can point to fighting challenges, uh, like fighting the same battle over and over and over again. Now it could be on one particular subject, usually is, could be about this same issue always comes up in the relationship. This same issue always comes up over and over again in my finances, in my home situation, in my work situation. But when the card is reversed, this is where 
we're sort of laying it down like the challenges are not going to be there they're not going to be presented to you at least not at this time sometimes the nine of wands in the reverse can indicate this is like a peacetime where the challenges are gone and they're gone completely and you won't be having to deal with them anymore others for others of you this could just be about a temporary truce where those particular challenges won't keep presenting themselves to you especially if it was like on the work front say for example if this was many challenges on the work front and perhaps you were searching for something you found a different job say for example or a different career and so now you'll be putting those situations aside you won't be having to deal with them again and again looks like a really good week overall Aries especially with the the wish card showing up here along with the sun. <laughs> so I wish you all the best. I really hope this reading helped you. If it did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you next week. Bye-bye.